home prices are falling at the fastest rate in over five years. The median U.S. home price is now $429,000, down 1.5%. But does this mean it's time to buy? Or should sellers rush to list? Let's break down what these numbers really mean for you. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lily Valerio, an award-winning realtor with 20 years of experience helping clients buy, sell, relocate, and invest in Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. If you want to stay ahead of the market and make smart real estate moves, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and stay in the know with everything real estate. Now let's dive in. I want you to think about what's happening in the market right now. More homes are sitting on the market and they're taking longer to sell. Sellers are cutting prices left and right to just to attract buyers. It's a big change from the hot market we've seen in the recent years. Here's the thing. This shift affects both buyers and sellers in ways you might not expect. There are opportunities here, but also some risks you need to know about. I promise you that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture of whether it's time to buy, sell, or wait. And I'm not here to give you a sales pitch, just cold, hard facts to help you make the best decisions for your situation. Remember, in real estate, timing can make all the difference. Timing is crucial, but it's not just about when you list. Did you know that nearly one in five sellers are slashing their prices right now? This surprising trend reveals a hidden danger for those rushing to sell. Let me show you why acting too quickly could cost you thousands. I want you to picture this. More homes are hitting the market and they're sitting there longer than before. We're talking about an average of 53 days now. That's a big jump from last year. And what does this mean for you if you're thinking about selling? Well, it's creating a whole new ball game. Here's the thing, with more homes up for grabs, sellers are facing some serious competition. It's not the frenzy we saw a couple of years ago where houses were flying off the market in days. Now, almost 20% of sellers are having to cut their prices just to get some attention from buyers. That's a pretty big shift and it's making a lot of sellers nervous. Now, you might be tempted to quickly list your home before prices fall even more. But hold on a second, making a rush decision could actually backfire. Remember, real estate is all about location and every market is different. What's happening in one neighborhood might not be true for another. So how do you know if it's the right time to sell? First, take a good look at your own situation. Are you financially stable? Do you need to move for a job or family reasons? These personal factors are just as important as what the market is doing. Next, do your homework on your local market. Are homes in your area selling quickly or are they sitting around? What are similar houses going for? This local intel is gold when you're trying to decide whether to list now or wait. Here's a pro tip. If you do decide to sell, pricing is key. The days of throwing any old number out there and watching a bidding war break out are over. You've got to be realistic. Homes that are priced right for the current market are still the ones that are still selling successfully. Let me give you a quick checklist to help you figure out if now's the time to list. Start by taking a good look at your finances. Can you comfortably afford to make that move? Next, dive into the local market trends to understand what's happening in your area. It's also smart to check out the competition and see how other homes near you are selling. Don't be afraid to go to open house. Just take a look so you can compare. It'll be very helpful. It'll give you a realistic idea of your home's current value so you can set expectations. And finally, consider your personal timeline and needs. Are you ready to make the leap now or is it better for you to wait? Remember, there's no one size fits all answer. What's right for your neighbor might not be right for you. The key is to make an informed decision based on your specific circumstances and the realities of your local market. Now let's flip the script and look at this from a buyer's perspective. You've probably heard that home prices are falling, but here's the kicker. That deal you're eyeing might not be the bargain you think it is. In fact, there's a counterintuitive strategy that could save you thousands if you're brave enough to try it. 
let me break it down for you. The market's shifting, and it's true that buyers are gaining some advantage. We're seeing a 36% increase in active listings compared to last year. That means more choices for you and potentially more room to negotiate. Sellers are feeling the pressure with homes taking longer to sell and many of them, like I said, cutting prices just to get you in through the door. But here's the thing, just because prices are dropping doesn't automatically mean it's time to jump in. Remember, real estate is a long game. You've got to look beyond the current moment and consider where the market might be headed. So what does this mean for you as a buyer? It's all about making strategic moves. If you're ready to buy now, you might find a great deal from a motivated seller, but don't feel pressured to rush. Interest rates are expected to keep improving and the market is becoming more buyer friendly. You'll likely have time to find the right home without the need to hurry. Here's my advice. Focus on getting your finances in order. Work on improving your credit score. Paying down those credit card balances can lead to better mortgage rates. Also, look into first-time home buyer programs and down payment assistance options. These steps can boost your purchasing power, whether you buy now or later. And don't forget to keep an eye on mortgage rates. As I mentioned, they're expected to trend downward, which could make homes more affordable. But here's the catch. Low rates could also mean more buyers jumping back in the market, and with that, prices could start to rise again. It's all about being prepared and staying ahead of the curve to find that sweet spot. So should you buy now or wait? Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, there's no one size fits all answer. It depends on your personal situation, your local market, and your long-term plans. If you find a home you love and can comfortably afford it, go for it. It might be worth making a move now, but if you're not quite ready, there's no shame in waiting. Okay, so you've heard about the current market trends, but did you know there's a massive demographic shift on the horizon that could flip the entire housing market on its head? Have you heard about the silver tsunami? It's not what you might think, but it could be the game changer buyers have been waiting for. Let me tell you about this hidden factor that's shaping tomorrow's market. The silver tsunami refers to the large number of baby boomers who will be moving out of their homes as they age. This could significantly impact the housing market by increasing inventory. As baby boomers transition into long-term care or pass away, more homes will be put on the market, creating an additional housing supply that can benefit first-time home buyers. Now you might be thinking, great, more homes on the market means better prices for buyers, right? Well, not so quite. Here's the thing, experts predict that the silver tsunami may take a few more years to have a noticeable impact on the housing market. This means we're looking at a gradual easing of competition and potentially stabilizing prices, not an overnight thing. But another important factor is the significant shortage of homes in the market. The United States is currently about 4.5 million homes short of a healthy supply. This shortage, along with the expected increase in homes as baby boomers age, creates a complex situation that will impact future home prices and availability. So what does this mean for you? Well, it's all about understanding these long-term trends and factoring them into your decision making. If you're a buyer, you might be tempted to wait for the silver tsunami to hit before making a big move. But remember, timing the market perfectly is nearly impossible. Again, instead, focus on your personal circumstances and needs. For sellers, this future increase in inventory might seem scary, but don't panic. The housing shortage isn't going to disappear overnight, and there's still strong demand for homes in many areas. Here's my advice. Stay informed about these market trends, but don't let them be the sole factor in your decision making. Keep an eye on your local market conditions as they can vary significantly from national trends. Also, work with a local real estate professional who can provide insights specific to your area. Remember, the interplay of high mortgage rates, inflation, and low inventory continues to create uncertainty in the market. This emphasizes the need for buyers and sellers to consider their personal situations rather than waiting for ideal market conditions. 
By the way, if you're looking for an experienced and knowledgeable agent in your area, I can connect you with the best. I work with a global network of top agents and personally interview them to ensure you're in excellent hands. Best of all, this service is completely free for you. You can scan this QR code or click the link I have in the description box below. All right, let's wrap this up with key takeaways. Whether you're buying or selling, the most important thing is to make decisions based on your personal situation, not market fears or FOMO. Remember, there's no perfect time to buy or sell. It's all about what works for you right now. Here's the thing, you've got the tools to navigate this market. For buyers, focus on your financial readiness and long-term plans. Don't rush, but be prepared to act when the right opportunity comes along. Sellers, price your home realistically and understand your local market dynamics. I want you to take a good look at your own circumstances. Is there a better work opportunity for you in a different location? Do you need to move for personal reasons? Or do you just want to be close to your kids or grandkids? These factors matter more than trying to time the market perfectly. And remember, every local market is different. So do your homework. And even if you're not ready, don't be afraid to reach out to a local real estate professional for advice specific to your area. And there you have it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, I'm Lily Valerio at eXp Realty. If you need expert advice or help buying, selling, relocating, or investing in this beautiful state, Maryland, DC, or Virginia, I'm here to guide you every step of the way. And even if you're not in my local area, I can connect you with top agents nationwide. Thanks again for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more real estate tips. See you next time.